It's a space that will provide a catalyst for change. The common room is going to be an innovation hub, which is what it once was, which is what the building was founded and the institute was founded for, to bring engineers of all different backgrounds to come together to innovate, invent and campaign to make things better for people living in this region, nationally and across the globe. Ultimately, young people are the future of the sector, like most other sectors out there. It's all about grabbing them from a young age and really developing that spot. There's a huge aspect of the region that people are almost forgetting about and I think it's really really important to, to share that and get the message out about what the common room is about. If you're thinking about a career in engineering but you think you don't know this, you don't know that and you don't know where to start, you know, this is going to be an area where you can go and you can learn and you can practice things and you can leave knowing something that you didn't know. It is, it is such a, an important place. You're in the presence of greatness really, you know, someone like George Stevenson who was such an influential character in engineering, just the ability to share the same workspace and the same study space as him is, is really such a privilege. I feel like what, what I'm really doing here is becoming the, the custodian of an industrial gem, but giving it back to the region that built it, you know, without the communities of the North East, the mining communities, the engineers, this place wouldn't have existed, yet half of them don't even know it's here. So just opening the doors is a key driver, I think, because as soon as you see people's faces once they step into this library or into our lecture theatre, the spark begins. It will become synonymous with innovation and um, become a hub of creative endeavour. It will help to inspire the next generation, young inventors, young creative minds. It will help to give a space for uh, existing businesses to get together, who knows, it may be a fantastic spot for a TED talk. The building is actually quite unique, is that you can't think of many buildings of this size that have got four or five spaces, each one different, just providing really intelligent facilities in this area that we can hire, bring people in. The theatre has got the intimacy and some of the rooms on the mid floor give that conference facility. They're not just boring boxes. Now, this, this place is oozing with quality. I think one of the things that's really exciting as we dig into our archive and collection of, of the industrial revolution that we hold here is how important the North East was for the development of these technologies across the globe. This was a world centre of excellence for engineering. When we look back through the transactions of the Institute, there are paper upon paper of engineering innovations that were presented here for the first time ever. The amount of people that walk past the Mining Institute on a day-to-day -day basis and they don't know what significance that building and the, the stories and the heritage have on this region, nationally and globally. You know, it's a legacy that I've tried to, to push through into my career and that I would like to do in my daughter's career and, you know, my friend's career. To, how are we here? You know, what, what can we do going forward? We're constantly developing as a region, as a country, as a world. And, you know, I want to be a part of that. It's really important for young people and all people of all ages in this region to be passionate about what this region is capable of, what we've done, what we're doing and what we can achieve in the future through engineering.